All right, coming up next, a matchup for the UFC heavyweight division title. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas, knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? Now let's get you our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with big differences in height and reach. We send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five round for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the world. It's who see first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of New York, New York, presenting the challenger, the giant. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out Los Angeles, California. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting a reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. All right, this is for the championship. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up and we are underway. a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Ooh, looking to set up that head kick. All right, here we go early down one. We talk about wrestling being a great equalizer in MMA, but length and reach is another one. He's got a great jab. We'll see if he can employ it tonight. You have got to be born with it, right? You don't get taller. When you're a tall guy, you have to understand, make your skill set match your physical abilities. And this guy has done this tremendously. Nice 
slip there to avoid the punch by Lee. Oh, how about it? Huge kick landed. Yeah, I've hurt him a little bit. And they separate. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Also, the taller fighter lands a knee yet again. Good spin. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Lee. Goes to the body there. Beautiful kick. Leg kick. He blocks the punch. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back to side, and try to find space. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Oh, he's got it going tonight. Beautiful combination of strikes there by Lee. Defense there, huge block for him. Nice kick. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Great punch landed with so much power. Oh, and he got tagged by that combination. His coach said on Thursday to us, it has to be punches in bunches. It has to be volume. And his student has certainly followed up on that apparently. So much volume, but the accuracy, the accuracy of this fighter is truly unbelievable. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. There's no give on that leg kick. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Just missing on the counter there. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, straight right. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Flips the punch. Nice strike. Going to the head kick here, it's there. Oh, nice counter to land the left hook there. Superman punch now. Big kick lands. Dealing with a cut now over that right eye. Lee gets hit with that hook. He's got to be careful here. Take a look back at some of the highlights he has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round. And at some point, these are going to really start to take their turn. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. That's a big strike right there. Able to land a combination there. 
So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Right hook to the head, bro. You got to check these low leg kicks. Oh, nice. Great punch. And they separate. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Spinning back fist. Didn't see that one coming. Nice one, two there. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No free piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. <laughs> Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Telegraph that's very bad fist. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Look at how he turned his hip into that leg kick. Big punch lands for the finish. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Just out of range with that right hook. Oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all his cover strikes. Oh, nice right hand. Ooh, looking to set up the head kick, but he misses. Nice punch by Lee. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Single collar tie now. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Just missed with the elbow there. Good a counter striker as there is in the game. Straight right is good. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming. And when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, to get out of the way and avoid those shots. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Oh, lands another punch there. Not a mean guy. He's just doing the smart thing. Oh, he has to be attacking that cut, John. I mean, if he's not, then he's doing it. He landed in perfectly. Perfect placement. Perfect position. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. No! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. He's got to go take that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. And he landed the right hand there. Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Close guard. Lee's cut is getting worse here. Man, is that bleeding. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Oh, oh. So there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. 
Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're gonna lead the dance as we go forward. Visibly limping here. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Oh, and he caught the kick. Offensive fight, nice job to block the shot there. So he lands with a right hand. How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Lee's got the full mount. Operating inside the closed guard now. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Lee. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Hard right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Lee gets caught with that punch. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Big kick. And both fighters have a huge strike hands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Oh, he got it! He got it! Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. He's starting to really bruise now. Close guard. Sort of hanging out here, unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Well, you know, I don't like the key very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> All right, into full guard here, DC. I know you don't like hanging out here for too much. No, you don't want to stay there. Too much of a submission threat, you got to pass. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds. And it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Ooh, head kick lands to hurt. Just misses with the jab there. Nice punch there. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that off. Takedown defense holds up. Pretty good right hand. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent starts to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. Ooh. Put 
Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Oh, beautiful knee to the body by him there. Again, we talked off the top about... Oh! What a round. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. All right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that, but when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. All right, here we go, fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart, and we'll see who has the other. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. Oh! So have we, your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 15 seconds of round number four. Playing the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Ruth the Dragon Lee. And still the baddest man on the planet. I know you haven't retired yet, but uh, I don't necessarily want to see you share the octagon with that monster. I mean, this dude is a savage. There is prestige in being called the UFC heavyweight champion. He remains that. He is the standard by 